Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? <laughs> Hello, my name is Doug Hess. I'm a new board member of Baker Memorial United Methodist. Um, I'm just making this video to share a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 40 years old. I've got two kids, Iris and Ezra, nine and seven. I live um, out in the country here between Milton and Danville on a property that is owned by Jen, my wife's uncle. It's kind of like a farm. Um, he farms the land, um, but we have a house and I take care of, um, the property kind of, and he actually owns another farm near here that I also work at a little bit. Um, I work at Evangelical Community Hospital as well. Um, right now I'm working second shift full time at the Miller Center, which is, um, a YMCA that the hospital has merged with, but I'm currently waiting on a first shift position at the, the main hospital that I will be starting probably in a month. So I, I enjoy, um, outdoor activity, working outside. I love hiking. Um, my family is actually planning, we're planning to go visit Letchworth State Park in New York in a few weeks, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, I love traveling, seeing new things, doing new things, um, spending time with my family, playing games, that type of thing. I love reading. I, let, I play guitar. I really enjoy that. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I decided to be on the board when Pastor Leah asked Jen and I if either of us would like to be on because I thought it was a, a good way, a tangible way that I could serve um, the church and the community. I think it's really important to be involved in um, positive ways in, in the community that you live in. Um, and yeah, so um, yeah, I don't I don't know that I have much more than that to say. Uh, most of you know me, or if you don't know me, hopefully I'll get to know you a little bit more in the future. I'm looking forward to the opportunity, and yes, so thank you so much. It will be a good thing for all of us and I will be to the other board members I'll be at the meetings in the future I wasn't at the first one here because like I said I'm working second shift but that will be changing and I'll be able to come to the actual meetings um, so um, thanks again I will talk to you later bye good afternoon beaver beloveds I have a question for you who needs a nap? It's Wednesday. I don't know. Something about Wednesday. Anyway, so glad to be with you all today. Okay. I wanted to share a few special announcements because as a church, you are so awesome. Yeah. Like this is some really good things going on. And I'm so proud to be your pastor and just to be um, with you all in this time, okay? So let me share some really cool, fun, interesting updates, all right? So let's talk about um, <laughs> the picture you saw. Okay, so that picture you saw, it was that brown window unit 
air conditioning, real old looking. Um, here's the deal about that, okay? Yes, the church has central air, but when you walk into the main office, there's a window unit. I have one in my office and then Deb has one in hers, okay? Deb's air conditioning, her window unit is gone. It just retired. I guess it got tired and it was like, I'm out of here, okay? So before we go out and buy a new window unit, if any of you all have an extra window unit in your garage or some somewhere that can possibly fit um, that space, please give us a call, send me an email. Okay, that'd be great. We would gladly accept it. We need to make sure we keep our uh, Miss Deb nice and cool during the summer hours. Um, yeah, so that's what that picture of that sad looking AC unit was all about, okay? Um, and Chuck has done his best to keep it running, but like I said, it retired. It stopped working two weeks ago. Okay, back to our awesomeness, all right? These past two weeks, you guys have been rocking it out with this capital campaign. My gosh, keep it up. We're looking good as far as the capital campaign and just the giving. Um, again, thank you for your commitment and your dedication to seeing uh, the financial freedom of Beaver. Okay, that's important um, to have a church where we have, you know, financial flexibility to be more of a missional church where we can give. Um, and we always want to keep missions in the back of our minds when we are giving and the capital, paying to the capital campaign like you all have been doing is putting us in a position where we can start to um, be more free with our ministries and um, giving back to the community. Okay, so thank you. All right, on the topic of giving, ugh, I don't, don't like my hair today. On the topic of giving, okay, um, um, website. If you go to our website, we have an online option. Um, it should be very user friendly. If not, let us know. But that is definitely a way to give. We do not get charged for this service. However, there's a small little fee that comes out of um, your portion. So we don't get the full entire portion, but there is uh, the entire portion of your giving. But there is an option where you can pay to offset that um, small percentage. You can do that so we as a church can get the full amount, okay? So for those of you who like to operate electronically, you have a new option, all right? Okay, moving on. Ministry safe, safe, have you all heard of it? If you have not heard of ministry safe, you need to, I'm encouraging you to research it, look it up, okay? Because be a memorial, we are operating in a ministry safe environment. This is, let me give you an outline of what Ministry Safe is. Ministry Safe is a five step, five part safety program to protect our children and those who serve them in churches and child serving or organizations. Okay, so if you plan to work with kids, be around kids, um, like I said, volunteer Sunday school, whatever, you have to um, get Ministry Safe certified, okay? If you have gotten an email from Miss Madge, please work on that certification. We as a church will reimburse you for the background check, but we have to operate in a safe environment. We have to know that the volunteers that are working with our kids have passed their backgrounds and that they're, self, they're, they're safe and our kids are safe, okay? So please try to do that as soon as you can. If you have any questions, send me an email. I can get you hooked up on how to do that. Um, Okay, again, ministry safe. Mrs. Madge is um, kind of overseeing that. I'm helping her. So contact either one of us for more information. Um, just reply back to this email, okay, if you want to get up to part on that. All right, moving on. Remember, I told you about our playground. So we are rocking and rolling. Again, awesome. Right, you guys are like super awesome for real. For real, this playground, um, the astral turf has arrived, and this Saturday, um, 
We are in need for volunteers to start excavating the drainage system. Okay, I've never done that. But if you are around Saturday and you are free and you want to get your hands dirty and you want to do some muscle work, that's not a muscle, um, you can bring gloves. If you have a shovel, a rigid rake, a pickaxe, and a wheelbarrow, if you have any of those, bring them and help. Um, Charlene, who is the director of Busy Beaver, her husband will be kind of overseeing this process. So you can either go to the website, email Charlene, her email is on there, or again, email me, all right? And I can get you connected to um, her husband or Charlene. We can plug you in and you can come and get all sweaty and worked up you know, we work out here Saturday volunteering for the playground so our babies can play. Yay! I think that's fun. Or maybe even adults. Charlene, can adults play on the playground? All right. So playground, website, ministry safe. Ah, who are we as a church? Yes, okay. Our next website, not website, our next workshop would be August 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. That is a Saturday. August 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay. We need to get together and we need to um, participate in the action planning process in which we will develop a coordinated, a coordinated work plan to, to dive into what beaver what is our goal of being diverse and inclusive we will examine our current reality right are we say who we are if not we're going to work on it this is this workshop where we can work on it okay i will again offer two options in person zoom between now and the 22nd i'm trying to figure it out because really this workshop is better in person right but I don't know when that will happen. So we're going to have to work with what we have, right? We have to do stuff like this. And um, those who feel comfortable can come in. But again, we'll work it out. We will work it out. Um, the aim is to feel ownership and responsibility for implementing this plan. We will, again, talk about um, reality, our current reality around diversity and inclusion, our commitments, what are some of our key action items, uh, we will we'll do a calendar a calendar, and we will resolve some things we got going on. Here is the detailed process. Can you see? Yay! It's going to take about two hours, but we're all going to... Um, and each step has something to do, but we're all going to do this together. And then after that, we're just going to own it. We're going to own who we are, right? Okay, good. All right. Moving on, last but not least, I think. Okay, yes, good. Last but not least, all right. Bible study, all right. We need to have a Bible study. Um, two different platforms that I'm working on. The first one is voice thread. This is going to be specifically geared to those who are unable to join us on like a standard Wednesday night, okay? This is a program where in which I will submit a video like I'm doing now, um, but it's on the voice thread. The, the program is called voice thread. I'll tell you about that. You'll see my face. You'll see the content, context, um, no content. I'm sorry, Wednesday brain. Um, you'll see it. You'll be able to respond to it, comment on there. Um, I, I believe I'm going to start with the book of Revelation. So we will be, it's going to be a lot to talk about there. There'll be a few different slides you can, you know, but no matter what day I post it on, you can come back. So for example, if I post on Monday, right, and you're not able to join Bible study until like Thursday, you will still be up to speed. You'll be able to participate. You'll be able to talk to your fellow church friends um, and post a video. It, it's pretty cool. We're testing out some of the glitches right now, um, but I feel it's gonna be a, a wonderful platform, especially for you working individuals who 
on to want to continue to learn, you know, about the Bible and all that. Um, but, but can't commit to that, you know, that time frame. All right. For those who love to commit or can't commit to, uh, we'll say like a Wednesday night at six, right? I am going to propose a zoom option where we discuss the exact same content that I am discussing in the voice thread. Um, we're just going to do it in one day. Okay. You just, Zoom, you log in, I'll share the screen, and we'll talk about it. Um, two different options for Bible study, okay? And I have a few of my friends that are testing it out right now for me. But as soon as we get it all up and going, if you see an email from me about VoiceThread, or if you're interested on being added to the VoiceThread, just send me an email. Um, and let me tell you what VoiceThread is, okay? A VoiceThread is a collaborative multimedia slideshow that holds images, documents, and videos and allows people to navigate slides and leave comments in five ways. So you can use your voice, text, audio file, video, like I'm doing a webcam, okay? Bear with me as we figure it out. Um, it's a very good tool. Um, I used it in one of my classes, and I loved it. Um, so, so there. There we have it, okay? Um, hope that wasn't too much. I hope I'm not leaving every, anything out. Um, yeah. So today, you get to be one of our newest board members, um, Mr. Doug Hess. Um Absolutely love Doug. Um, very um, sincere, um, easygoing guy. His family is the exact same way. If you don't know the Hesses, you are missing out. Um, Jen, his wife, I've spent some time outside of church with them. Um, I had one of the best times um, I have had since being here in Lewisburg. And uh, his wife Jen, Doug, you, Doug will tell you about him, but his wife Jen, she um, works as a mental health professional. And as a church, let's keep her and her family in prayers because she is dealing with um, one of the most vulnerable populations um, in our society right now because this pandemic has caused a lot to mental um, strain on people. And um, Jen, has to be strong and lifted up in prayer. And just, like I said, just keep her, um, keep God's strength with her as she she helps people along this journey, okay? Um, so you get to meet Doug. I'm not gonna hold you that much longer, okay? Love you guys. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please reach out, right? We are church. We don't have to walk um, through things alone. We can do this together, right? We can do it together. Um, I need you. So, and I think we need each other. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon.